Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back today. I'm so excited for this video because I'm gonna be doing a fall try on haul. This one is gonna be all on like sweaters, uh, mainly sweaters, and then I have a couple of pants that I wanted to show you that I recently got. And then I'm gonna do a part two of this and show you some of my favorite jackets that I've recently picked up and boots. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video please subscribe and let's get started. Almost forgot to let you guys know, I am doing a giveaway right now over on Instagram with Miranda Fry. The winner will receive a $200 Miranda Fry credit um, to get whatever you want. I pretty much only wear Miranda Fry. So if you ever like any of the jewelry pieces that I'm wearing, um, you would definitely wanna enter the giveaway. So I'll put all of the information on that down below in the description box. So now we can get into the try on haul. So normally when I do a try on haul, I like to really get in depth and talk very specifically about each thing, but I have so many sweaters here, so I'm gonna keep it pretty brief. I'm gonna also shoot it on my body so you can see what it looks like. But I went to Target, Nordstrom, Zara, and Aritzia. So we've got a range of price points here and I will link everything down below. And I will also link similar items if I can find them. So I'm gonna start with Target. The first one you've already seen me wear, this is kind of just like a lumpy, like grandpa sweater and I love it. I've actually, worn this backwards too because on the front here it has this like sweatery pattern type of thing where on the back it's just straight up and down and you can't really tell that you're wearing it backwards this is slightly cropped and it has this little opening here on the side which i think looks really good and is really flattering i'm normally on average probably a size medium in most things when in doubt i go for a medium but when i especially when i know i'm going to be getting like a big chunky sweater i can get down to an extra small and i like the way that it fits because sometimes if I get my size in an oversized sweater, I feel like just because I'm short, I just feel like they look too big on me. So I did get this in an extra small. If this was like a fitted top, I would never fit into an extra small, but um, I am gonna give you sizes just so you can gauge on that. The next one I got is this like dark green. See this one I did get in a medium. It's a turtleneck. The fabric is really nice. It's not really scratchy or anything. I just think it's really flattering. It has this like detailing here, which I think looks really cute. Okay, so that's it from Target. The first thing that I got from Nordstrom was this gray cropped turtleneck. I feel like this was the year of me getting a bunch of cropped sweaters and I think they're so so flattering with like a pair of high-waisted jeans. I just think you look so like chic, but fall and wintry cozy and I just love that look. I just don't know how I feel about this one. When I saw it on the model, I feel like it looked so good, but on me, it looks like my, sh my sweater shrunk. I don't know, I feel like there's a difference between a cropped sweater and a sweater that looks like you accidentally shrunk it in the dryer. So you be the judge, let me know what you think about this one. Um, Cause I just feel like it looks a little funny, but maybe I'm just overthinking it. And then I got this cardigan. Is this a cardigan? I don't really know. What's the difference between a cardigan, a sweater? I never know, but I love this brand Treasure and Bond. This one I thought was really cute because I would probably just wear this open. It's like a charcoal gray and it's got these buttons on here. I feel like a really cute white crop top with this with high-waisted jeans would be super cute. I got this one in an extra small as well. And then the last sweater I got from Nordstrom was a splurge. So I've heard so many people raving about this Reformation jeans brand and how it's all that in a bag of chips. And I was like, you know what? Let's just try it. So I got a cashmere sweater, which I've never owned anything cashmere. This just looked like a good everyday sweater. This is something that you could dress up or dress down. I got a medium in this. The bottom kind of has this raw hem, which I think is very unique for such a fancy schmancy cashmere sweater. Now that I've gotten it in the mail and I've tried it on, I really love this and I'm so glad I picked it up. I feel like this is something that's gonna be in my wardrobe for years. And it's something that I can see myself wearing all the time, whether it be like day to day, just doing whatever, or for Thanksgiving. I'm glad I took the risk. It's not that big of a risk. I could have returned it if it didn't work out, but you know what I mean. Okay, moving on to Zara. So I got this in a size small. This is just a very oversized turtleneck. It's just this light, um, <laughs> light dark blue. <laughs> what is that color? It's the color of the year, Microsoft Word Blue. That is this blue. I actually really like it. I've, I've been really straying away from color, but 
I just think this with my eyeballs, it, it literally is the color of my eyeball. This is a little bit scratchy though. That's something that I noticed from pretty much all of the Zara stuff I got. Everything has been pretty scratchy, which kind of sucks. Even though it's a little scratchy, I'm still gonna keep it because I think it's really cute and I don't have any, I don't really have much color at all in my wardrobe now because I've just kept it very neutral. So that's a that's a color I'm, I'm fine with if it stays. Um, another really scratchy sweater that I picked up from Zara is this one. I also got this in a medium. This is a cropped sweater. It's a good everyday kind of sweater. It's another really good Thanksgiving-y kind of sweater. You're probably thinking like, bitch, why do you need so many neutral sweaters? I live in the Chicagoland area, Indiana now technically, but it gets pretty cold. One year, was it like two years ago? It got down to like negative 25 one day. I mean, that's rare, but still it happened. So yeah, I just wanna be set with sweaters. And the other thing too, with working from home, I've been trying to get dressed for the day. It's so easy to just wear sweatpants all day and it kind of just like messes with me and so I've just been trying to like actually get ready for the day put on some jeans put on a cute top even put on just like a little bit of mascara or something just to feel a little bit more put together even though I've got like five million sweaters here I feel like I'm really gonna wear them all and they're all really good basics and then the last sweater I got from Zara is this gray one this is probably one of my favorite things that I picked up this is actually in a size small can you believe how different this looks than the one before and the one before was a medium it's just crazy how the sizing ranges so much. I think it's really crucial to look at the model, read the reviews and check the size and fit when you're placing an order online, just so you know what you're gonna end up getting. I'm so glad I got a small in this. This is something I could probably get an extra small in as well just because it is so oversized this is also one that i would totally wear with like black leather leggings really love this um, again this is slightly scratchier than any of the other sweaters all of my sweaters that i got from zara are just a little just a little scratchy but i don't care i still like them the last place i have for sweaters is aritzia so I don't really shop there that much just because Aritzia is so freaking expensive. But I t let me tell you, every time I ask someone where they got something, they're like, Aritzia. So I am shocked that everything I ordered ended up working out. I mean, that kind of doesn't work out in my favor because everything was so expensive, but I love everything. So I'm gonna start out with what I have on right now. It's this sweater here. This is a cropped sweater. I got a small in this and it's kind of like this. Is this called a mock turtleneck? I think so, because it's not like a foldy one. It just kind of goes up a little bit. Sometimes turtlenecks can hit me funny. If they're a mock neck, sometimes it makes me look like just weird. And then sometimes turtlenecks are so big that I just feel like they push my chin up like this. So I was very surprised that I ended up loving how this looked. Um, it hits me perfectly on my arms. It's so comfortable. It's breathable, but warm. It's just, it's perfect. I love it. And the color is beautiful. This is in kind of like this taupey brown color. This is another favorite. I think it's beautiful. It's another cropped sweater. It hits me at the perfect spot so that my butt looks, you know, it hits you know what I'm talking about. And it's just, again, like another very basic, simple sweater. This one I got in a size medium because it is a little bit more structured than the one I have on. The one I have on is like a little bit more chunky, I guess, where this is still like a nice thick sweater, but it's not as chunky and like oversized looking. You can roll up the sleeves like this and it looks cute or just keep them down. Love this one. I actually ran into Aritzia yesterday. The lady helping me out put this in my fitting room. Little bitch. Normally people can't get me, you know. I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to upsell me, but it works this time because the sweater was adorable. This is just a <laughs> chunky cropped sweater. I got this one actually in an extra small. If you want the crop to be not so short, go with like your normal size. Again, with like high-waisted jeans, I think this would be so cute. I like the sleeves on this one too. This is the puffiest sleeve of any of the sweaters that I've gotten yet. It's tight here, but then it kind of like, you know. Next, I picked up this one. This is like my favorite. I mean, <laughs> I'm saying they're all my favorite. But this one, I can see myself wearing the most. I got it in a small, which I, I was honestly a little afraid. I thought this was gonna be too small on me, but it's 
perfect. This is so flattering on my body and cozy at the same time. And I can just see myself wearing this all the time, which I already have. I mean, I've worn that like three times since I got it. And then this top, I love this. But the first day I wore it, I took a sip of coffee right before I was about to film something and spilled it all over it. If the wash doesn't get it out before I put it in the dryer, I'll spot treat it. Well, I totally forgot and I dried it. So hopefully I can get this stain out, but it's just right here. It's just a little coffee stain. I feel like you can't actually even see it here, but whatever. What is the style of this shirt called? I feel like everyone knows the name of it. Is it a Henley? I think that's what it is. It's just like this waffle material. Um, kind of just looks like long underwear, which I really like. It's got the buttons here. I got a size medium in this, so it would be oversized and comfortable. This I think tucked into jeans super cute this is also cute for just lounging around the house i just think this is a nice comfortable like everyday top so last but not least the final top i'm gonna show you today is this crop top everything's cropped i'm sorry it's like a fitted cropped long sleeve so you guys know those tops that i'm obsessed with from nordstrom that i have in the gray the white and the black it literally looks just like this so it's basically the same thing just cropped and it fits so nicely. I was tempted to get more colors, but we'll just see how much I wear this to see if I even want more colors. Gonna got a size medium and I'm glad I did because this any smaller on me would not be flattering just because it is so tight. High-waisted jeans would be so cute with this with just like a blazer or a sweater or whatever and then your jacket just, you know, just another basic simple top. Okay, so those are all of the sweaters. Now I'm gonna show you some of the bottoms that I picked up. So over the years, I've gone through so much trial and error with jeans and bottoms and everything. Just because of my size, I am pretty curvy on the bottom. When I was shopping for my wedding dress last year, they actually measured me as like a two to four up top and then a 10 to 12 on the bottom for dress sizing. So it was very difficult ordering what size I would need for my dress. So because of that, it can be so tricky finding jeans that are comfortable and flattering all at the same time. And I'm short, which is just kind of like all of these obstacles. So I was thinking of doing a video on the best jeans for a curvier body type. Let me know if you'd like to see that because I got some good ones that now I'm like, I'm not going back to anything else. Good American has become one of my favorite jean brands. I got a pair in the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year and I've stocked up on so many different pairs just because every time I wear them, Ruben compliments my butt. These are the Good Legs Crop and I get these in a size four. Um, I probably could get a size six just because they are very, very tight. It just depends on how you prefer to wear them. I would say they are true to size, um, but they're very, very stretchy. I love the wash of these jeans. It's just a true blue jean. They do have the rip here on the knee, which is just, mm, I like these rips. I have to make sure that when I put them on, not to shove my foot through them because I always destroy any rips in my jeans. And now I just have gaping holes in my jeans because I shove my, through, my foot through the hole. And then these are the bottoms, which I really, really like. One thing I like about good American jeans is that when you get the crop, because I'm only five foot two, that tends to work out pretty nicely with my legs just because I like it to hit at my ankle. And then these are the butt pockets, which do you see the placement? Like just makes you wanna. Another pair of Good American jeans I got because I watched Alex Garza do a video on a Good American haul that she did or something. And she was talking about these. So I ordered them in the fours that I normally get, but then they like, I could barely even button them, they were so tight. So I exchanged them for a size six, which the size six is still tight. They're just very, very structured. But these are the Good American Good Vintage jeans. And they're very high-waisted, this very light blue wash, but they feel like they're like structured denim. They do not have that stretch. They're tight in my butt and thighs area, but on the model, they're very loose. So it just kind of depends on your body type, but then they go straight down and they're kind of like a like a boot cut flare, I guess, on the bottom here. They're, they're not skinny or tight. And then the top has all of this like distressing, which I think is really cute. And then this is the back. Again, it makes your butt look Phenom. I picked up these jeans on the Aritzia website. They're by the brand Denim Forum and I got a 28, which is a size six. And these are the Yoko High Rise Slim. So they look like this and they have the buttons up here. A lot of times when you get jeans, when you have a bigger butt, you end up getting that gap at the back. Like I'm telling you like a, a gap 
and it's so uncomfortable. The denim forum jeans don't do that. The only thing I don't like is that they're so long. And when jeans are really long, I get disappointed, especially when they have this really cute edge at the bottom because now I have to roll them. Like you can see there's a crease here from where I was rolling them to fit my short AS. These are the butt pockets. There's some pretzel hair on them. But I like this color because it's a charcoal black. They're really cute. I feel like these would be really cute with some of these like cropped sweaters. Okay, I've got one last final thing to share with you. I almost didn't even try these on because of my body type. I just knew that that's just not gonna work. They're gonna be too tight. It's, it's just not gonna be flattering. The sales lady ensured me that they're very stretchy and they stretch actually as you wear them too and just to try it. So I got these in a size six and they are these vegan leather leggings and I got them in this caramel color. I think they're so, so pretty. They're straight all the way down and then the back just looks like this. I'm totally gonna wear these on Thanksgiving. I think these are beautiful. They were so comfortable. I was so shocked. I didn't have any issue getting into them. So I was pleasantly surprised, especially because looking at them, I was like, there's no there's no way that these are going to work. But yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the things that I picked up recently. If there's anything that you think I need, please let me know down below. Actually, please don't because I, I don't need anything. If you'd like to see like a styling video for like fall and winter outfits, let me know. I'd love to do that. Stay tuned because I'm actually about to film my outerwear video. So I got a bunch of jackets and shoes and stuff that I can't wait to show you. So don't forget to enter that giveaway that I'm doing with Miranda Fry. All of the information will be down below. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you very soon. Bye.